this segment, I'd like to discuss how to open up a bottle of wine closed with a screw cap or Stelvin closure. Uh, Stelvin is the is the proprietary name for one of the manufacturers of this, and, and it's been around for about 40 years as a, as a technology. But here in the United States, screw caps have really, over the last 10, 12 years, become much more popular and widespread. And I think consumer acceptance of the screw cap has has you know, become on par with just about any cork finished bottle of wine. Uh, what that means is that we see more and more of these screw cap closures being used. Uh, there's uh, a, a wide use among producers who are making primarily younger and earlier serving wines, and especially wines that are more acid or aromatically driven rather than the oak aged and, and fuller bodied wines. Uh, but we do see screw caps on all kinds of wines these days. And customers I think have really learned to, to accept that and it's become pretty much mainstream. So occasionally you'll get a, a question or, or concern about a screw cap bottle of wine, but uh, for the most part, I don't experience that too, too often anymore. Now, when a customer orders a bottle of wine that is, uh, that is in a screw cap, uh, I'm going to go retrieve this from the bar or the service bar or the cellar, just like I would any other bottle of wine. And remember, I, I want to check this bottle of wine um, before I get back to the table. I want to check it to make sure it is the correct bottle that the customer ordered and the correct vintage. And I also want to make sure that I am familiar with the names on the label. Now in this case, I've got a wine that's an Italian wine called Rocca del Dragone. And this is a Falangina, that's the grape variety, from Campania, southern Italy. And on the label, though, there's no vintage. So if I was tableside and I was presenting this to my guest, I would have to look over at the back and see that this was a 2010. So this is one of those little details that I want to make sure that I'm, I'm aware of before I get to the table. So I'm going to run through all those terms before I get back to the table, make sure that I can pronounce them. Obviously here, a little bit of Italian that's challenging, but it could be a French or Spanish wine, or even a wine from California or Chile that, that is just in unfamiliar terms. Make sure you know how to say them. Make sure you're a little bit familiar with them. The back label also will offer sometimes uh, a good amount of information on the producer. So just double check this before you get back to the table. When you get to the table, you're going to want to make sure that uh, you go through all the same procedures that you would when you're opening up a cork finished bottle of wine uh, when presenting it. So you're always going to want to keep the label facing your guest. Now I'm right-handed. I like to keep my right hand on these bottles towards the top, my left hand at the bottom. And there's a reason for this, because after I presented it and the guest has confirmed that this is the correct bottle of wine, my step for opening this, now remember I don't have a corkscrew for this, is to use my right hand and quickly and efficiently open this up. Now there are actually two portions to the closure. There is the actual cap itself, which is only about this big. Uh, about one third of the entire length, and then there's the neck, which takes up about two thirds of the capsule. And it's really the neck that I'm going to spin to open this up. I'm not going to twist it over top. First of all, it doesn't look good, but it also sometimes doesn't work. So what I'm going to do is simply take my hand and twist, twist, so that I get that nice cracking sound. Now. I had a little struggle there for a second. This one was a little bit tight, which can happen. And if I was twisting the top, I could actually strip the threads off of the top uh, capsule, which actually would prevent me from almost completely opening the bottle of wine. So what I like to do is twist that bottom portion of the neck. I've got more to give, plus there's no threads to strip here if, I am, uh, if it is a little bit tight, which this bottle happened to be. So once I've twisted that, I've got that cracking sound, I can then just with just a little twist, take that cap off, and I'm basically ready to serve. Now, the question always comes up, do I take the screw cap itself and put that on the table next to the guest glass like I would a cork, if I had a cork finished bottle of wine? For me, the answer is actually yes. I actually put this on the table right in front of the glass that I'm going to serve because I think it presents an opportunity to have a conversation with a guest. And I also feel by putting the capsule down as I would a cork, it puts cork finish and screw cap bottles on a par with each other. I'm saying that there's no difference. I want you to check that. I want you to see that this is a, a, a screw cap finished bottle of wine and I put these wines on par. So again, it just reinforces the fact that there's no quality issue here. I'm treating this just like I would any other wine. I'm then going to present the wine to the guest. 
uh, in the glass for about a half ounce, three quarters of an ounce. Let them assess it, and assuming everything is correct, I'm going to go do my uh, table side service to the rest of the guests. Uh, when I get back to the original guests and finish their glass, I'm going to take the bottle, put it on the table in front of them, and I'm then going to actually take that capsule back with me. I don't want to leave it on the table, I'm going to take it back with me. And one of the things that I like to make sure to do in some markets, guests who have unfinished bottles of wine can actually take that bottle with them. So I'm going to keep a hold of this in my, in my pocket or my apron just to make sure that if the guest doesn't finish that bottle of wine, I've got the right closure for them to take it with them. So real quick, let's just review uh, opening up screw cap bottles of wine. The first and most important thing that I can say is that there is no quality difference between screw cap bottles of wine and cork finished bottles of wine. You have the same great quality and you also sometimes can have problems because even cork finished bottles of wine will occasionally have a problem. Screw caps will occasionally have a problem. Generally speaking though, there's less of an issue with screw cap bottles of wine uh, because there is no cork, then there's no issue with cork, corked wine and other problems and that's why we see so many screw caps uh, being produced these days. So present the wine just as I would a normal bottle of wine. The only big difference is I'm not using my corkscrew obviously. I want to twist the bottom portion of the capsule, crack the seal, one twist takes the top off, put that on the table, go through my normal service technique, and then take that capsule with me when I, when I leave the table. Very simple, very easy.